Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another review and I just got back from Thanksgiving. I don't really want to get into it, but a lot of issues have been coming up and I'm really sorry that my videos have been coming out as fast, but I have like two more reviews to come out with and they will be uploaded, uploaded shortly. We just got finals and everything else to do. I just been really extremely busy, so I do apologize if my uploads are about really really slow but this time i have a review on a shea moisture product that i've actually been looking at for a while now but i haven't been able to find it as much this right here excuse me this right here is the shea moisture raw shea chamomile and argan oil baby healing lotion it is supposed to calm and comfort your skin as you can see on the label here and it comes in a 13 fluent ounce pump bottle and this is what the back looks like. And of course, it tells you what ingredients it does not have. So I managed to pick this up at Target. Let me just see if I can get, get it to stay here. Okay, I managed to pick this up at Target. Okay, there you go. Now I managed to pick this up at Target in the baby section. They do have it available at Target, but you will have to go to the baby section where most of the baby products are if you want to find this stuff it unfortunately i do not remember the price that well but i believe it was like 9.99 plus tax it might i think i might have gotten it on sale because it was only like either 7.99 or 8.99 when i first got it because there was a sale going on for it um so here's the product here and I do have to say, this lotion is mostly designated for babies, but if you have sensitive skin, you could also try this stuff. And one thing I've noticed about this lotion is that this is one of the very few lotions in the Shea Moisture line that does not have any glycerin. I have checked the ingredient list a few times to make sure, and I can actually say that it doesn't have any glycerin, at least from what I've seen. So if you are allergic to glycerin or you really don't like glycerin and stuff, this might be a product for you. With that being said, I really do like this lotion. It does what it's supposed to do. It's very moisturizing. It doesn't leave any kind of sticky residue or greasy, oily residue. In fact, in fact, I kind of skipped out on that when I was talking about the Argan Oil Raw Shea Butter Lotion. The Argan Oil and Raw Shea Lotion would kind of leave a bit of a slight oily film on my skin this this some um, lotion here does not do that at all it just clearly sinks into your skin no mess no nothing and it's easy to rub in and the lotion itself is actually pretty thick too as you can see i mean if i just tip this over it's not going to fall anywhere it's not going to start spilling over the side of the bottle or anything else it's actually pretty pretty thick and unfortunately, this is where it brings me to my problem with this stuff. I do not, and I repeat, do not like the packaging at all, okay? For a lotion being this thick, and this might go up to another lotion that I'm going to try from the Shea Moisture line, but considering the fact that this lotion is very thick, um, the people of Shea Moisture... For them to even put this kind of lotion into a pump bottle was actually kind of a bad idea because I'm seriously having a problem dispensing this stuff. Usually after I get out of the shower, I want to be able to just get some lotion out and just slap it on my skin and start rubbing it in. With this stuff, because it's so thick and because it's in a pump bottle, I find that usually I'm having a problem with the pump to where I can press down several times and the lotion still would not come up. So this involves me having to, you know, unscrew it, unscrew it like this and just kind of move it around like this and keep pumping it until finally lotion shows up into it to where I can actually get some lotion to come out of it. And that actually poses as a serious problem for me. So if I don't know if the Shea Moisture people are even listening, but they might want to repackage this lotion in an actual jar. Sort of like that eczema healing cream that they have for, um, in the baby section too. I highly recommend putting this lotion in a jar just for easy dispensing. And the fact that you can get every last drop because 
I'm worried that the more that I keep this stuff in a pump bottle or the more that I attempt to use the pump on this, there's going to come a point in time where I'm not going to get much out of it and where I'm not going to get anything out through the pump and then I'll be forced to cut the whole bottle open and just use it and then have it go bad. And I really do not want that to happen. I've been considering putting it in a jar, a jar just for easy dispensing. But for now, I'm going to keep it in this pump bottle and see if I can work with it. But all in all, the lotion is actually pretty good. It does what the lotion is supposed to do. It moisturizes my skin, and I'm very happy with it. I would say the only thing that I have a serious problem with is the packaging. I do not like the pump bottle, and they should have put this in a jar instead. So out of five stars, I would give it a four. I had to take off one star because of the packaging. But if you have sensitive skin, this is the lotion for you. Now, they do have a matching body wash that I do want to try, and I will get to that eventually. But I can see myself using this lotion again. They would just need to change the packaging, as I have said before. But otherwise, this lotion is pretty good. I don't have any children, so I can't clarify on whether it works for babies or not. But it works very well with my skin. My skin is very dry, and my legs are very sensitive. And this is really good for sensitive skin. So if you get the chance, you can give this lotion a shot. You can find it at Target in the baby section. Do not go to the regular um, beauty product section. You would actually have to go to the baby section to find it. And if you want to, if you have sensitive skin or if you have any of the afflictions like eczema and psoriasis, you can try this stuff. It's really good. It's a pretty good lotion and it does what it's supposed to do. So that's pretty much my review on it. And... All in all, I would see myself using the lotion again, but that's pretty much my review on it. If you have tried this lotion before, whether it be on yourself or on your children, if you have children, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear, hear your story. And if you guys have any proposals on how to fix the problem involving the pump bottle and dispensing it, I would love to hear your solutions in the comments below. I would love to hear them. If you like my review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will have more reviews coming to you. See you soon.